So I'm taking this video in response um, to how I mounted my jerry can to my Ural. Um, I didn't get the Ural mounting kit that came with it, but I seen the parts and I kind of replicated it um, from the local hardware store for probably 10 bucks at the most. So you can see I've got it mounted pretty well right now. And so I'll just go through how we got this on here. So if you don't have the spare tire on the back, this makes it a lot easier because you can pretty much mount where you want. But otherwise, what you have to do is you have to get it in the holder and then put both of them up and make sure that you have clearance for when that tire comes down. Now mine's bound a little bit lower. I went a little bit safe just in case and mounted a little lower than I needed to. Um, but it's still gonna be pretty much the same. Um, you're still going to run into the same issues regardless of where you mount it. So what I did is I actually had somebody hold it up. I had my son hold up the um, can in the holder, um, determine where I wanted to make sure it would be sitting low enough below the tire. And then I had them hold it flush with that. And I just used a pen to kind of mark where I was putting it. One here and one down here. And then I took the can out of the holder. So this is already full filled because now I'm using it. But So once I got the um, can out, once I got my spots marked, I just held um, held it flush up against the tub and I marked or had somebody hold it and then I used um, a marker to mark the center of the hole each of the four holes. Now a lot of people say they only use three because um, the, the tub is actually curved just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that but there's a slight curve so it wants to curve slightly this way and that causes some problems. Um, so I actually went to the Ural website to view what um, hardware comes with it and they say to use an M6 um, bolt and nut and that's, that's actually what I did. Um, I kind of got the recessed um, head ones that sit flush and then for the mounting straps I went ahead and went horizontal. Um, I figured that was a better option but really it doesn't matter and I just got some aluminum straight bar as you can see and then I was gonna go with uh, nylon uh, lock nuts but of course they didn't have what I needed um, I went pretty long I think I went 25 mill millimeter on these screws just to make sure I would get through and uh, I'm glad I did because um, down on the bottom you can see this lower one down here. I definitely needed all the extra space I could get. So, um, and then I just cut it with a hacksaw. That's how I got my strapping in. Um, so I ended up using lock washers and standard nuts for that. Um, but the big issue is how do you get this flush? How do you get it so the, the jerry can holder actually stays on um, level and it's not bending around. What happens is if you, I went ahead and used nylon washers. Now it's the best thing I could find. I wanted something in between the sidecar and the holder. And so you can see right there, I even did it on this one. I just only had to do one. Here I had to do a few more and it's kind of a line it up and see. Only one down there and then down here I put a big old stack of them. Now what happened is um, I drilled through every spot just fine but as you probably noticed in the hack that you can see that that little lip there that's where one of the holes went right through and so it's causing this weird twist but then I was glad I used the aluminum because it allowed it to bend pretty easily and still give me the stability I needed. Um, and then when I needed to drill the holes in the aluminum, of course, I just lined it up on the back of the holder and that made things a lot easier. But 
what'll happen is if you don't use these spacers in there, um, when you tighten it down, uh, this is going to start getting really kind of wonky and it's going to start shifting even more than this. So you can see it's a little bit of offset. It's going to be like this if you don't use the nylon washers. Now you don't have to use that third bolt, but I wanted all four of them secured. Um, you're dealing with uh, almost 20 pounds of extra weight on here. I want it to be as secure as possible. And so mine's not offset too bad. And as you can see, it actually slides in pretty easily. It goes in, goes out, and that's how I did it. And uh, I had it on uh, some pretty bumpy trails here the um, last couple days. And I was able to uh, not see any, any problems, no cracks, no bulging or anything like that on the uh, hack side, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, that, by the way, is where my uh, pump mount used to be. Now, one little note is where I mounted exactly is where one of the tire pump um, holes was, and the uh, strap actually goes, the vertical strap actually went right over that. My pump was broken, so I just took the mounts out, actually got myself a little bit of space so I wasn't too worried about that but I'm sure you can adjust it side to side if needed. And uh, just a note is that I didn't order the spout I should have. It, it cost me as much to order from somewhere else and it would have fit perfectly but um, if you happen to need another one I got my jerry can spout off of eBay. Um, it pretty much in, like I said cost, ended up costing me the same as if I would have just ordered the Ural one. And it doesn't fit perfectly on there. Um, this you can see is uniformly shaped. And uh, the Ural jerry can spout is not. It's actually got that kind of wonky shape to it. Slightly, slightly trapezoidal. But it fits. It actually does work. And it came with a seal. So um, just get the Ural one.